I had gotten down to the uh, 44th floor sky level and they made an announcement over the public address system that a plane had just hit one World Trade but that the integrity of two World Trade was okay. A few seconds after that, they, uh, Flight 175 crashed into my building. I was near an out of service elevator and the force of the impact drove a combination of air and dust through all the openings around the elevator and into the lobby. And I just remember feeling that I did not want my body to be found in an elevator shaft. Where I live, you walk one short block and you get to 7th Avenue. And from 7th Avenue, we had a completely unobstructed view of the towers. And the Twin Towers were meaningful for every New Yorker because for every New Yorker, the towers functioned as their personal GPS. Didn't matter where you were in the city, if you were disoriented or you came up from the subway into a neighborhood you didn't know, you just looked in the sky, you found the towers, you knew you were looking south, after that, everything else fell into place. I was on my way home from the firehouse on September 11th. I had just gotten relieved. All New York City firefighters and police officers got recalled into the city. Uh, I got down to the site just after the South Tower had collapsed and I parked my truck north of the towers. I started running down the block to help. As I got closer to the North Tower, the North Tower started coming down. So I just ran and I slid under a car and was buried with the debris and the dust. Uh, I was trapped and pinned. People from around the world visit the Tribute Center, and when they come here, they write their reflections about 9-11 on these cards, how 9-11 affected them and their communities. There are more people living in Lower Manhattan today than on September 10th, 2001, and I am one of them. Although I witnessed the horror of this day and had to leave my apartment for several weeks, I moved back down here in October 2001 and have been here ever since. I'm very proud to call this community my home and probably will never leave Lower Manhattan again. I dedicate the work that I do here at Tribute to my husband Paul and um, it has become part of the healing process for me. Uh, it's a great way for me to remember him and the person that he was and to be able to share that with others. Mm -hmm.